Kirchhoff's law has the power to make the circuit analysis of even complex circuits easy. Whoa! I would like to hear more about it, teacher. Awesome. Let's begin. Kirchhoff's law was named after a German physicist, Gustav Robert Kirchhoff. Oh, the law was again named after a scientist. Well, it's nothing to be surprised about. Happens all the time in physics. Anyway, there are two fundamental laws of electricity discovered by him which are famously referred to as Kirchhoff's law. Mm -hmm. So first, let's discuss Kirchhoff's first law, also known as Kirchhoff's current or junction law. Sure. Um, isn't junction the point where two or more conductors are connected with each other? Exactly. We call it a junction law because it is applicable in a junction only. Hmm. Must be something related to the current in the junction. So, what's the statement, teacher? You are almost right. Kirchhoff's current law states that the sum of currents entering any junction of a circuit should always be equal to the sum of the currents leaving the same junction. Hold on, that was too much information in one go. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You will surely get the grasp of it. To make things easier, let's have a look at this circuit diagram. My goodness, there are so many currents. I have no idea what to do with them. Patience, young one. Patience. I'm here to guide you. <sighs> All right. Good. Now that you have calmed down, what's the sum of the currents entering the junction? Let me give it a try. Looking at their directions, currents I1, I2 and I3 are definitely heading towards the junction. So, I guess the sum of currents entering the junction should be I1 plus I2 plus I3. That's right. Similarly, can you tell us the sum of currents leaving the same junction? That's easy. That should definitely be I4 plus I5. Cool. So, all in all, what Kirchhoff's current law says is both the currents entering and leaving a junction should always be equal. Therefore, in our case, I1 plus I2 plus I3 should be equal to I4 plus I5. Hang on, I think I'm getting it now. This law must be the reason why we get a current of 5 amperes when two wires carrying a current of 2 and 3 amperes respectively are joined together. Am I right? Absolutely. Also, do remember that Kirchhoff's current law is the direct consequence of conservation of charge. Oh, and by conservation of charge, do you mean the total number of charges entering the junction should also leave the junction? That's spot on. For instance, if 10 to the power of 5 electrons enter any junction, the same number of electrons must also exit the junction. That sounds reasonable to me. Mm -hmm. Since current is just the rate of flow of charge, current 2, as stated by Kirchhoff's first law, gets conserved at that junction. You can take a simple analogy of three pipes, where two pipes are carrying water to the junction, while the third pipe is taking water away from it. And the flow rate of the third pipe should be equal to the sum of flow rate of the first and second pipe. Exactly. Wow, that was a beautiful analogy, teacher. It clarifies the concept very well. 